How do you write a profile summary for a project manager CV? Join me in this discussion as we highlight some of the best ways or key elements to capture in your CV if you're targeting project management roles. My name is Mary, in charge of training and career advisory services here at Corporate Staffing, and I am joined by one of our CV writing experts, Ruth, who will be shedding more light on this subject. Thank you, Ruth, for joining me. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. Great. I know there are so many reasons why we have career profile summaries mm. on every CV, but our main focus is on project management or a project manager's CV. Yeah. Why is it important to have a career profile summary? The importance of having a career profile summary on a CV, not only for the project management, but on a CV, it, it highlights or it provides an overview of your skills, expertise, and experience. Mm -hmm. So as a project manager, the profile summary will showcase some of the skills you have and some of the expertise. Mm -hmm. When the recruiter is going through your CV, that's the first thing they see. So when they read the career profile summary, they'll be able to understand what, what this person can offer, what does he or she bring to the table mm -hmm. without even them going through the, your whole CV. Mm -hmm. So it provides an overview of your experience, your skills, mm -hmm. your expertise. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And now, and now, specifically now to a project manager mm. or a project management mm. CV, what are some of the key elements? Maybe you can share an overview mm -hmm. of some of the key elements to take note of when mm. working on a project manager CV. Mm. Now, when it comes to a project manager CV, one of the key things recruiters look for is your time management skill. For a project manager, you have to be able to manage your time and the period you take to finish some of your projects. Mm -hmm. So in writing your career profile summary, some of the elements you should focus on, we have the professional title. For the professional title now, you have to include there, I am a project manager. You cannot just leave it blank. You say, I am a highly experienced professional. Mm -hmm. Which profession? So you need to include the I am a I am a project manager in this industry. And the part for industry, we have the industry expertise. Under industry expertise, that's where you put the field. We have the construction, the hospitality, education. You may find someone, he, he or she has been a project manager in the education sector, but he has not been in the hospitality. So you, you have to include that so that the recruiter can know, is this person eligible for this role mm -hmm. in this sector? So you have to include that. Then we have the accomplishment. So as a project manager, you have some projects that you have finished or you are looking forward to finish. So you need to include them just a little bit in your profile summary to showcase what you are working on or what you are able to work on. And also we have the years of experience. It's important to include your years of experience as a project manager so it can show how long have you been in this industry, how long have you overseen projects, Maybe you have two years of experience. That will show, okay, this person is able to manage a certain project and he, he or she is not able to manage a certain project. So years of experience is very important. And those are some of the key elements that are very, very important when writing a career profile summary. Mm -hmm. yeah. Of course, a career profile summary should be very brief, mm -hmm. concise, and to the point. Now, in order to bring it out in a more concise and impactful mm -hmm. manner, mm -hmm. how effectively can anyone working on their CV for a project management role be able to demonstrate their expertise, their competencies, mm -hmm. their skills in a concise manner in the career profile summary. Mm -hmm. Now for that, first of all, you have to tailor your CV to fit the job description. Mm -hmm. If you are apl applying for a role, you have to make sure the career profile summary fits the job description you are applying for. Maybe in the job description they say they need someone who is proficient in agile. Mm -hmm. And maybe you are proficient in agile, but you have not included it. So you have to include that bit in your career profile summary. Mm -hmm. You also have to use quantitative metrics in a way that you 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 state maybe the percentage the amount the exact amount you use or if not the exact amount but you just state to showcase maybe i used one million to complete this project mm -hmm. and the budget was, was this and this mm -hmm. or i used 50 percent of it or 70 percent and i used this duration mm -hmm. so you just have to give a little information about that not like everything because it's just like a paragraph mm -hmm. or two paragraphs, mm -hmm. just a little bit, so that when the recruiter, they go through, they see that information, they will be able 
they will have that urge to go through your CV so mm -hmm. that they can see what was this project and what was the exact budget. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and just from the name in itself, it's mm -hmm. a summary. So yes, it should not even be more than three paragraphs. Yes, or two. even three, just <laughs> two, two paragraphs of At one. Most, mm. But it should be something that carries weight, something mm -hmm. that defines you as That's a project catchy. manager. Mm. Great. Thank you so much for sharing. There's quite a lot when it comes to it. Yeah. I know we'll be discussing more in our next video. I believe you've been able to find this video useful and you've picked one or two areas that uh, will come in handy as you work on your CV. We encourage you to share with us your CV and Ruth and her team will be able to reach out to you just to guide on how best it can be packaged in the career profile summary so that it catches the attention of the recruiter. We look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you for watching.